Hey guys, Anthony here. It's Tuesday, November uh, 29th, 2016. Um, I bought my brother a Bofang UV82 commercial uh, dual band radio, UV82C. Um, my brother lives in Charlotte, North Carolina area, and so this is the radio here out of the box. Before I give it to him, I want to load frequencies in his area uh, into the radio. So when I give it to him, he has frequencies for his area. So he could use the radio immediately rather than sit there and program rate, uh, frequencies in. So an easy way to do this, and that's what the purpose of tonight's video is. I bought the radio as a gift. I may buy a few others for some other people. And do the same thing that I'm doing for my brothers. And you two uh, can do the same. And also, I have a radio, the Bofang uh, BFF8HP. This is programmed for frequencies in my area here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. What I did with this radio is I downloaded the frequencies in the Chirp software. And I have videos on this prior to show how I did this. I downloaded the frequencies out of this radio, cleared them out, and I uploaded the frequencies that I found from Charlotte, North Carolina, and I uploaded it into the radio tonight. So when I go to Charlotte to visit, or for vacation, or to go to my apartment, um, I could take this radio, or I could actually leave it there uh, on this next trip that I go on, and the frequencies for Charlotte are in this radio and it's already there when I get there. So my Fort Lauderdale radios are not going to be any use in the Charlotte area, but if I have a, a one or two Charlotte radios programmed, when I get there, I just turn them on, and I got access to the 2-meter and 70-centimeter um, um, bands that I programmed in. So what I did, and I'm going to show you the process, was I found the frequencies that I wanted, through rfinder.net. I think it was $10 to join. I'll go on the screen now and show it to you. Uh, basically what you do is you'll join for $10 for the year. Uh, they'll give you a, uh, you know, you'll pick a password, a login, uh, an email address, and, um, and what you'll do is you could plug in a zip code or cities, whatever you want, uh, Pick the frequencies you want for that city for the different uh, ham bands that there are. I picked 2 meter and 440 uh, for this particular exercise. And it came up with, I think, 53 uh, frequencies. And they're all ready to go. Um, you just select uh, a CSV file. You download it to your computer. And then you upload it to the Chirp software. And then you upload it to the radio. And that's what I did. So I'm going to show you how I did that right now will go to uh, that process. All right, guys. So what you're going to do is this is my desktop. I have the R Finder uh, already opened. There it is, R Finder Worldwide Repeater Directory Web Location Search. On the uh, left side of the screen here, uh, you'll see I have my email address and my password. I logged in. I put the zip code. Uh, for where my brother, the area where my brother lives, um, and I did look up, location lookup, and then I deselected uh, down here where the bands are. I deselected and I just kept 144 megahertz and um, the 420 uh, megahertz, okay? And I put a 20 square mile radius. I hit get repeater list, and voila. Right here are the repeaters uh, for uh, that area in a 20-mile radius from that zip code. And here they are, uh, you know, down here from Charlotte, um, here with the PL tones. Uh, everything's in there, all the information, the QRZ signs, um, all the way down Indian Land, Fort Mill, Rock Hill, Gastonia, Crab Creek, um, Mint Hill. Rock Hill, Charlotte, Columbia, uh, South Carolina there. Um, and then there it goes all the way down uh, to, 
I think it's 53. I think there's 53 of them. So I clicked up here. If you look up here where my uh, cursor is, CSV chirp import. Once you pick CSV chirp import, what that's going to do is import onto your, or it's going to download into your uh, hard drive uh, this file. So I did that. Let me lower this screen. I did that, and then I just uh, sent it over to my desktop, and this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like uh, in an Excel file. Okay, well, I, I need to renew my Microsoft Office, but it shows it to you here. So there are the codes, or excuse me, the frequencies right here uh, for what I just showed you from the R Finder. Uh, .net website. Now, for $10, it's it's worth it to me because I can go, if I'm traveling to a particular city or town and I'm only going to be there a little bit, I could take a radio with me, preload it with the frequencies for that area, and when I get there, I've got, you know, communication access to listen and to, and to talk on those uh, bands. So we go all the way down here, uh, 54, 54 or 53 uh, frequencies okay so to get that into the radio all I did was I bring up the chirp software that comes up and basically I just go to well I don't have the radio hooked up now but I go to file and I'm going to say import right here. In fact, let me plug in the radio and, and just do it for you. I'll show you uh, what I did. So you plug in your, right now I'm plugging in my communication cable that goes into your USB port. And I have videos on this, guys, that um, I did prior. Take my brother's radio. Somebody's banging outside and my dogs are going crazy. Okay. I plugged in his radio. I'll turn it on. And now you'll be able to see uh, what I put on his radio. So I'll go uh, radio. I'll download from the radio. So I got COM3. I got to change the name of the radio. His is a UV82. So I'll change that. I'll hit OK. Yes. And OK. And now you'll see the cloning process. Those Charlotte frequencies will download into this into this uh, file. And then what I'll do is I'll delete them and reload them just so I could show you. Okay, so there are the 54 frequencies that are on my brother's radio. So what I want to do now is edit. I'll select all. I will delete everything to zeros. So there it is. Everything is deleted. Now. I want to take that R Finder file from Charlotte that's on my desktop, and I'm going to say import. It's going to come up down here where it says chirp files. I want a CSV file, and there it is, the Charlotte ham frequencies. That's what I called it. I'm going to double-click that. There they are. I'm going to hit OK, and you're going to see them populate back into the screen here into the chirp screen and there they are so now I just I need to reload them back up into the radio because I downloaded them and um, erased them so I'm gonna go upload to the radio so from chirp to the radio it's Bofang UV82 that's all correct my COM port is COM3 for my device my cable I'm gonna hit yes 
And now those frequencies are going back into his radio. Uh, and what I could do is I could have five radios I was given as gifts to people in Charlotte and plug them in one at a time and upload these frequencies if this was all, they were all in the same area. And um, there you go. So you could give uh, these, you know, inexpensive, you know, $50, $55 radio. I think that's what this UV82 was, um, this commercial one. And there you go. Those frequencies are now in the radio. So you could give these radios out as gifts uh, to people and program them to any city, any country, you know, that you wanted to using that rfinder.net site. So for 10 bucks, I thought it was worth it um, to me. Uh, so uh, I thought that was a worthwhile video to let you guys uh, see that. So let's get back to my live recording. All right, guys, so we're back uh, live here just showing you. Um, so that this was his radio. It's hooked up to my computer uh, with the cable, COM3. And now the frequencies uh, for Charlotte are in this radio. Channel mode. So if I go up to... The mode here and hit scan if you can see that let's see if you can see the there you go scanning beacon you should see it scrolling through the 50 there you go you can see it there it's scanning through the 53 charlotte or 54 charlotte uh, frequencies both on two meter and 70 centimeter. And therefore he's going to have um, a working radio for his area of operation um, when I give this to him as a gift. So I reprogrammed it, boxed everything up. Everything's back in the box here, the directions, the radio is ready to go. The antenna's in there. Um, and so he doesn't have a ham license, but this will give him some incentive to work on one, getting his license, his technician license. And um, at the very least, he could listen in on his local traffic nets or weather or whatever. Um, so I thought that was a good gift. Uh, and I may do that for a couple other people that are, that I'm talking to about ham radio. I may buy him a, a Bofang radio, program it for their area, and uh, send it to them. So... That was tonight's video to just give you a little glimpse of what to do. Check out rfinder.net. Uh, let me know what you think. If you guys already use it already, let me know. Get some feedback on it. And, um, you know, stay ready. You got some other vids coming up uh, regarding my refrigerator in the van. Uh, I've got a, a flashlight sent to me by Olight. They want uh, me to review this. This is a fantastic light. Uh, the S30R Baton. It's rechargeable comes with a charging dock, magnetic charging dock, USB, um, chargeable. This thing is amazing. 1,050 lumens, uh, just a fantastic light, uh, four or five different settings. Um, great EDC light, great emergency light. Uh, so I'm testing it out before I do a video on it. So look for that by uh, Olight um, coming up. Okay, thanks for joining me, guys. Take care, stay ready. Anthony signing off.